What's going on YouTube for us today? I hope you guys are doing well. Modern Warfare 3 is going to introduce something we have never seen before in Call of Duty, and that is carrying over your progress from one game to another. And I actually like this in theory. I thought it was a good idea originally. But the more that I dwell on the fact that weapons are transferring over from MW2 to MW3, and all that progress you made in MW2 is carrying over to MW3, it actually concerns me a little. Now, this might be me putting on a tinfoil hat, but let me explain. I fear that the reason why they're doing this isn't just because Modern Warfare 3 is a glorified expansion to MW2. It's actually because MW3 is critically lacking content. And instead of trying to push through and create new content... Call of Duty is just resorting to laziness, resorting to last year's efforts, and allowing that progress to carry through. Now, this could be completely misguided, this could be completely incorrect, but that's the way I feel. But what it's doing is it's actually robbing some of this player base from one of their favorite things about a brand new Call of Duty, the grind. They've already eliminated the prestige grind and what it used to mean to hit max prestige. Now that's gone because it's an endless grind that resets every single season. And it's just silly in my opinion. I'd love to see traditional prestige come back. We won't see it, but I'd love to see it return. With that being said though, the grind that replaced grinding your prestige was the weapon grind. Was trying to max out all your weapons, get the nice camo that went along with getting every single weapon gold... And it was something that a lot of people liked doing. I like grinding for certain camos. I didn't like the fact that in MW2 I had to unlock certain weapons by using other weapons just so that I could try to unlock a camo. I always hated the weapon unlock system from MW2. But that's not the point of today's video. I want to talk a little bit more about this weapon grind and the fact that it's being robbed from us. But it's not only the grind that's being robbed from us. It's the discovery period of a new Call of Duty, figuring out what attachments work, what weapons work, what weapons work on which maps, what weapons work in which situations, learning the maps. All of that is part of the experience. It pushes you to continue to play because that learning curve is a lot of fun. But with Modern Warfare 3, that feels as if it's all out the window. The game from day one is going to be filled with TAC-56s and Vaznevs. It's going to be you playing the same maps that you played in 2009. And there's nothing new to the experience. It just feels like we're experiencing the same thing, but with a fresh coat of paint. And that also gives you less incentive to want to grind. And I've talked a lot about incentive on this channel. And it feels as if Modern Warfare 3 is just decreasing that across the board. Yes, there will be new weapons. Yes, there will be new attachments to grind for that you'll never use. Yes, there'll be new camos and new emblems and new call signs that might get added three months into the game. But with all of that being a part of the experience, I don't think it's enough day one to make it worth your while to grind the game. Especially with removing the prestige grind. Especially with the fact that a lot of the weapons you like from MW2 are just going to be in the game. So Right from the get-go, the meta is already going to be established. Are there going to be new weapons that are going to enter the meta? Maybe. But depending on where you lie in the skill-based matchmaking system, you may never get to use the new weapons because people are going to be so focused on just getting the best games they can so they're just going to stick to what they already know with the TAC-56 and the Vaznev and not move off of the meta from MW2. Now, obviously, the meta will shift. It should change, but it might take a couple weeks. It won't be like that from day one, and that's part of the enjoyment of a new Call of Duty game. Learning what works, what doesn't. Learning what attachments you should use and which ones you should stay away from. And honestly, during the early parts of MW2, it was more beneficial not to use any attachments because they decided to nerf attachments into the ground. I've talked about the attachment thing in the past, and I just hate it so much. There should be one stock for each weapon, and it should just grant you more movement speed while aiming down sights. It shouldn't give you negative effects and positive effects and this and that and the other. No, it should give you one effect, and that's it. Simplify it. But that's not what this video is about. To get back to the point, Call of Duty is eliminating part of the grind. They are eliminating part of the incentive, part of the reason people play. 
And by doing that, they de-incentivize me wanting to get onto the game to play it at all. And if I don't have any reason to play the game, because I don't really care about continuing to level up weapons that I had from MW2, I don't really care about trying to reset a meta when my skill-based matchmaking forces me to use the same two guns. So what am I doing here? What's the point? And that's the issue with Modern Warfare 3 as I see it right now, is it feels as if there's very little purpose with this game. Because it is an expansion MW2, but it's not evolving the game enough as I see it right now in early September. There might be more information as time goes on, but all I can do right now is speculate. I am again approaching this game with a lot of skepticism, a lot of caution, because I don't know what is in store for us. I don't know what's going to unfold. And I'm very concerned that we're going to see the past repeat itself with this Call of Duty title letting a lot of people down at launch, with this Call of Duty title not having a lot of content at launch, with this Call of Duty title just overall not being what it's trying to be. MW2 was supposed to revolutionize Call of Duty. It was supposed to be the most innovative COD we've ever seen. It's maybe the most unplayable COD I've ever seen. It takes all the worst parts of MW 2019 and amplifies them. And then you couple that with the terrible perk system. And the game just feels unplayable. It's not enjoyable to play. The maps stink. The door system sucks. The movement system sucks. Nothing about Modern Warfare 2 is fun. And then you also have this awful packet burst situation because the servers are terrible as well. So... All of this culminates to me being very pessimistic when it comes towards MW3, but I think I have a reason to be pessimistic. I think I have a reason to be skeptical. I have a reason to be conspiratorial when it comes to what we're getting in MW3, and it's a long track record of them trying to put in minimal effort to try to get maximum return. And I'm just not here for it. I'm not going to sit idly by and accept it again. I refuse to do that. And I refuse to not at least share some of my skepticism. See if you guys agree or disagree. And maybe I'm off my rocker and you guys can tell me that and I'll accept it. Part of the purpose here of this channel, I'm going to share my opinions, my thoughts, my theories. And I want you guys to hold me accountable to whether or not I'm being unjust or fair. And I think in this situation, I'm being fair. The grind for MW3 looks far less great than what we had in MW2. I know I just torched MW2, but at least the weapon grind, the camel grind, was something of value in MW2. And are they taking that away from us in MW3? Are they adding enough content at launch that's going to support the game? Are they going to be changing the meta? Like, what are we going to see from MW3? They are reaching uncharted territory, and I'm just not certain that it's going to work. I'm not certain that it's going to feel like a brand new game. That's my main concern here. So that's what I wanted to share. So let me know your thoughts. Are you excited that weapons are getting carried over? Do you think it'll increase, decrease the grind? Do you think it'll give you more incentive or de-incentivize you to play? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in that comment section. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.